What is going on guys? This Lost Yeti here, and today we are back for another episode of 1 minute, 10 minutes, and an hour. Today, in honor of spooky season, we're doing the spookiest, the creepiest, and the most bizarre and probably blockiest monsters you've ever seen. Without further ado, let's get into our one minute build. All right, so this is my one minute Grim Reaper. Try not to get too angry at it. You definitely have to squint if you really want to see it right. Um, or maybe, you know, spin around three times and then like stop your head really quick and just look directly at it. It, it definitely could use some work and it's hard to create any sort of monster with any sort of detail in one minute. I encourage you guys, if you want to try it for yourself, let me know how far you go in the comment section below. But Basically, what we did was we just did a little bit of blood down here with redstone, a couple of red candles, you know, for all those uh, satanic sacrifices and all that good stuff. I took time to do wool here and this to kind of give texture of a face. I would have liked to have better texture in the face, but that's okay. And then he has a little scythe. Again, use some creativity, some imagination. Uh, leaves a lot to be desired, but again, it's one minute and it's a sign of good things to come. Without further ado, guys, you know what that means. Let's get into our 10 minute build in three, two, who, a one. Let's get spooky. And for our 10 minute build, we have our chain rattling ghost. Now, unfortunately, I would have loved to give this guy a little bit more time, but let's uh, let's take a look at it. So if you're not familiar with chain rattling ghost, I'll stand right here and actually throw up an image on your left. This is the chain rattling ghost from Scooby-Doo. That was the inspiration for this build. Maybe it was a little bit ambitious, but I, I wanted to give it a go. So as you can see, um, I might have actually put the chain on the wrong arm, but anyways, so he has a little chain that goes all the way down to the ground with the last link being broken. He has a flowing blue slash cyan robe that goes all the way around with the little armholes. And his face kind of glows in the cartoon, so I used lava with glass. And to give it a little bit better texture, I used stairs. Originally, I had used black concrete, but it didn't really work out well. Now, am I thrilled with how this came out? Not really. It's hard to really get the flowing robe effect going on, so I tried using some wool in with the um, concrete. I think that's concrete anyways. Yeah, concrete. So, not perfect, but uh, it's a personal favorite of mine being Scooby-Doo, so I could not not do it for this build. Without further ado, guys, you know what that means. We have the one-minute build done. We have the ten-minute build done. It's time. Oh, baby, it's time for our one-hour build let's get it started in three two one let's go
And drum roll, please. Let's check out our one hour build. Hey, the Friday the 13th, Jason specifically, I'm super stoked on this build. Now, it actually didn't take me as much time as I originally had thought it would. So maybe I should have been swapping the swapping the chain rattling ghost and Jason. But it did give me time to do the little title in the background and actually give this build some more story. So let's break it down. Now, first of all, I should say Jason typically uses, I guess, a, a machete. I think that would probably be the most appropriate tool for him. But I thought it would only be more epic to give him a bloody chainsaw. So we gave him a bloody chainsaw. Complete with all the buttons and the pieces. So that, that was necessary. 100% necessary. Secondly, I did use wool as well as um, concrete to kind of give multiple textures. And this mask. Quartz to give it the edges. And he has his signature hockey mask. Then if you come on down here, we have blood and buttons. And mud even on his outer jacket that he wears, as well as his signature, I guess you'd call them biker gloves, for lack of a better phrase. Um, and then you have his jeans with little worn spots and his kneecaps. Now, if you're wondering um, the backstory, if you guys haven't seen the original Friday the 13th, this is your time to go and watch it, but this will help you explain why I did what I did. So. As a fan of the first movie, again, spoilers, but it's, uh, you know, the movie's been out for long enough. I, I think it's pretty fair to spoil it at this point. Um, basically, at the end of the movie, uh, there is a very famous scene where Jason himself, so that, that guy, comes out of the lake and emerges from the lake and capsizes uh, one of the survivors who is trying to paddle away for safety. So we have a little dock that's kind of falling apart. We have the surrounding of the lake, and we have Jason emerging through the glass water. Um, normally, I would use, just use regular water for a build, but because I wanted the splash effect, that's why I went with it. And, you know, maybe this is just dumb, but I did put in lapis underneath because crystal lake. I know lapis is not technically a crystal, but it, it, it gives a little bit more glimmer and all that fanciness. But yeah, no, I'm super, super stoked on how it came out. I hope you guys like it. Let me know down in the comment section below uh, what you guys thought of all the monsters that we've made. And frankly, tell me which one. What your question is, really, what monster is like your biggest fear? Which fic fictitious monster is your biggest fear? Let me know down in the comment section down below. Super excited to see what you guys think. I will have to say Jason's probably up there for me. That, that's all I got to say, really. But if you guys did enjoy, consider leaving a like. As always, guys, this has been your host, The Lost Yeti. So glad that you managed to, to join me on this one. If you guys want to check out any other episode of the 1 minute, 10 minute, and our build series, check out the playlist. And I will catch you guys in the next episode on the channel. See you guys then.